you remember very well, African countries were colonized. And most of them fought for independence. In Kenya here, we were colonized by the British. And we fought for independence. And we got independence, independence in 1963. And we fought for this independence because we wanted our people liberalized, liberated, so that they could rule themselves. We felt that there was too much poverty of our people. We felt that there were inequalities. The riches of Africa were being taken out there to build the, the, their colonial masters countries. So, when we got independence, then there was a lot of corruption of the, those who became our presidents then. There was a lot of corruption in Africa and even tribalism set in, in most of the countries. And that brought a lot of coups. In the 60s, 70s, 80s, there were a lot of coups in Africa. And the excuse of the coups was that there is corruption of this government. And even if the military, when the military took over, the story was the same. So, the experts who have wrote, written several books have said the best route for Africans is devolution or decentralization. Maybe from my experience and from what my colleagues have spoken here, which is a successful devolution? or decentralization. A successful devolution or decentralization is where funds flow from the center or from the national government to the county governments or from to the local governments. Or where we have three tire like South Africa, it flows to the provinces, then it flows to municipalities. And this has to be timely. You heard what were my friends who were there, what they were saying, that in Kenya here we have that problem. For devolution or decentralization to be successful, those units set up must have capacity in terms of human resource to make sure that they are able to deal with those challenges that created devolution. If there are no capacity, then there will be no service delivery. So, governance structures, proper governance structures are very critical. Most of the devolution, and you remember in Kenya here, when there were local authorities, they collapsed because of poor uh, structures that existed then, we must have competent human resource which will be trained now and then to face those challenges of devolution. We have had that as a challenge in this particular country. And you must have political good goodwill. There must be support, express support from national government to the local units. So political goodwill is very, very critical. And I remember my colleague from Kajiado talking about technology. This evolved unit must be able to embrace technology if they have to be successful and also have good policies. Uh, you, you remember my friend Sang saying that uh, sometimes it's a problem having good policies, good legislation, because of uh, other 
counties which are neighboring, you are, are not able to have the same policy that you have. And there must be rule of law that is very, very critical. And for any su successful devolution of the central unit to survive, there must be public participation in whatever you do at that local level. Involve the people. Decentralization, devolution must be about the people. And it must have inbuilt checks and balances. Wananji or the people should be able to audit you and come out strongly. You create those avenues where the local people are able to engage you as a local government. But what is critical and what we have learned is that uh, every country has its own way of doing things. And we must appreciate. There is something to learn from all these countries that uh, we have gentlemen speaking on their behalf. But what has come up clearly, come out clearly, is that decentralization is a process. You cannot achieve it 100% overnight. And whether you are talking of decentralization devolution, it needs political goodwill. So political goodwill is critical. If you have a head of state that does not support decentralization or devolution, then you are done. And finally, those that are in authority of these local or devolved units must make sure that whatever they do must be people-centered. You look at the people. Public participation is critical and is uniform all through from what I heard uh, from these gentlemen here. And then finally, capacity building in those units is critical because our local authorities failed because of no capacity to implement the inadequacies within the developed unit. And that's why they failed. But I, I think Kenya, we have moved a step further from decentralization to devolution. And my colleague here came out clearly to explain the difference between decentralization and devolution. So I thank all of you for your kind attention and I think this has been a very good forum for us to learn a lot. Asante Nisan.